Okay, so working with our first blade here. Again, our two black marks. Take a little bit of our uh, old flux here. Can't quite get this in frame. But a little dab on the tip of the iron. And at each of those marks, just kiss the copper. Got a little too much over here, so I'll clean it up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my LEDs. Clean up this other one real quick. Always have a shop rag around. All right, left enough flux on there. Notice that the LEDs are just overlapping onto the copper just a wee bit. Can't show this on camera. Gotta get it out of the way for soldering. So I'm gonna hold this down with a toothpick, come in and touch it with a clean iron with a fresh dab of solder on the end. That will tack that in place. I'll do the same thing over here, then I'll come back and test them with a the meter. Okay, both blades, first set of green LEDs are both in place. So I'm just going to put the positive lead of the meter on the top copper trace because it's going to be the positive side. It's got light. Got light. Light. And light. I'm now going to flip the blade over and do the same thing for the blue and the red. One thing kind of critical I want to show you here, the blade I'm touching right here, this is the top blade, this is getting the green LEDs, this is the positive lead off the battery. So you'll notice my meter, red is positive, here comes my negative lead touch the bottom side of the, dot, or the resistor. On the bottom blade this reverses. So here we're attaching the LED to the copper trace. On the bottom side, this being the negative, we're attaching the resistor to the copper trace. Because remember when we built, assembled our diodes and resistors together, we always made the diode the positive side, the other the negative. So notice now I've got my negative lead on the trace because it's the bottom. And I'm lighting up my diodes. So top side positive, bottom side negative. Top side attaches to the LED, bottom side you're attaching to the resistor. Okay, now that LEDs are attached and tested, it's now time to start taking our additional traces of copper tape and making the final connection to each LED. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, attach to the resistor on that side, wrap the leading edge, come back to the bottom side of the blade and attach to the negative side. And what I will do is I will use one piece of foil and I will alternate. So I will do green on this blade, outer, then I will come to the other blade, do the green on the outer. Idea being this is one common strip of tape has a relative similar uh, width across it. So that way I'm adding the same amount of weight as I do this. When I need to go to the next one, I'll come back over to my refrigerator and I'll pull off another thin strip and I'll use that. Okay, show a little technique here. I've taken my copper and I've slid it right up to almost underneath the uh, resistor, wrapped it around, just actually using my thumbnail to press it along. And you can see I came across here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my very sharp blade, being again, I've taken it on a sanding block and put a nice sharp edge on it. And all I'm going to do is score, <laughs> score, right across here. Use my thumbnail to hold that down. Pop this up. like that. Okay, we've got our first 
outer LED copper traces in place. So now we're gonna come back and get ready to solder them. What I'm gonna do is visually inspect these again, make sure I'm coming all the way up and touching the resistors, spot where it solders on. I'm already come across here, I'm in good shape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again take the tip of my Exacto, dip it in the flux, put a little bit of flux right here. I'll put a little bit of flux right here. When I come back to solder this top side, and you gotta keep in mind I've got pretty thick skin, I will physically hold that in place with my thumb just like so, and then come in here with the soldering iron and touch this. And that's gonna help hold that tape down and hold that LED slash resistor combo in place. When I come to the bottom side, to keep the tape from bubbling up, because as soon as the heat hits it, the adhesive underneath is going to want to let go and the tape wants to come up. I'm going to hold it down with a toothpick. I'm actually going to hold the solder spot right here. So I'm literally on the junction I'm soldering. And what will happen is the solder will flow around it. There will be a little uh, hole in the middle, kind of like mashed potatoes, sticking your ladle in there to make your uh, spot for your gravy. There will be a little spot left that won't have any solder on it, but at least hold everything in place. Once we get done with all this stuff, we're going to come back in with some CA that I put on a plastic cup and I'll come in here and I will dip this in and I will actually come back and touch all the solder joints, any place where there's a junction and any place where something could possibly come up down the road. So we'll come back in and basically glue everything down. But what we're going to do is we're going to electrically test everything first and kind of you can go back and do the gluing right before you do the clear, clear coat technically. Alright so at this point we've got all four LEDs in place, we've got all four jumpers in place on each blade. Actually, I probably shouldn't refer to it as jumper more as a trace coming across here. Um, one thing that I suggest nice little uh, handy item to have around is um, this happens to be a lithium ion cell, so it's 3.7, same as a LiPoly as far as voltages are concerned. Uh, I've already got a set of leads attached to this thing. It just lies around my bench for testing, obviously for building blades and other things, but it's something that you can go ahead and power up your blade before attaching the battery and the switch just to confirm that your LEDs are working. So I'll touch one on the negative, one on the positive trace. So, there's a pair of greens, there's the red and the blue. So there's blade number one, good shape. Again, top trace is positive on the blade. Hold that on the positive, hold this on the negative. Again, two greens glowing, blue and a red. So now that we've tested, uh, next thing we can do, we can go ahead and cut these extra pieces of copper tape off these uh, off the leading edge of the blade. So I'll show you another technique. Previously I showed you scoring it and then uh, lifting it up. Another thing you can do is we'll go ahead and get this pried up off the end of the blade here. So I'm lifting it, as you can see. The other thing to do is, again, lay the sharp knife, lay the edge of it on there, just pull up to it. Makes a nice clean cut. Flip it over. Again, lifting it up, pull it to. Lay the knife edge across right where you want to cut it. Bing, just like so. So this will be one of these critical points to come back and we're going to put some thin CA around that. 